Hi, I'm Liam, a product marketer at Verkata. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the end-to-end -end setup of a Verkata camera. For setup, you'll typically require a Verkata command account to create an organization for the cameras, as well as a PoE-enabled switch or an inline PoE injector, a DHCP-enabled network for the camera to receive an IP address, and CAT5 or CAT6 cabling to provide both internet connectivity and power to the camera. Verkata devices are built to prioritize your network security while also allowing for remote access and streamlined management of your devices. Usually, little to no adjustments of your network settings are necessary. However, some configuration may be needed in certain cases to bring your devices online. Verkata devices must be assigned a rootable IP address via DHCP. For network security reasons, static IP addresses are not currently supported. If your network blocks traffic, Verkata domains must be whitelisted on the firewall. Proxy servers or SSL inspection are not compatible with Verkata devices. For more information, refer to the required network settings knowledge base article on help.verkata.com. Each Verkata camera comes with a mount plate, a mounting template, a T10 security torque screwdriver, and standard hardware. Also included is a setup guide that outlines tips for fast and easy installation. Using the provided screwdriver, unscrew the lid from the base of the camera, remove the back plate, thread your ethernet cable through the back and insert the cable into the camera's port. Then reattach the cover. Verkata's indoor cameras use 802.3 AF PoE, while the outdoor models require 802.3 AT PoE plus due to the climate heater. The multi-sensor, on the other hand, needs a 802.3 BT PoE++ cable to power the four image sensors. The power consumption varies based on factors such as whether the camera uses infrared or operates in sub-zero temperatures. Consult the data sheets on our website for detailed information on the power consumption requirements of each camera in different scenarios. To connect the camera to a PoE switch, simply plug the Ethernet cable into the RJ45 port on the camera. If you don't have access to a PoE switch or if you can't supply enough power, use a PoE injector. To use the injector, connect an Ethernet patch cable from the out port to the camera. Then connect the Ethernet cable from the network switch to the in port on the injector. Also, connect the power cable to a nearby AC wall outlet to allow the data to pass through the injector while providing PoE power to the camera. Once you've plugged your camera into a PoE enabled source, it will automatically begin to boot. To confirm camera status, check the LED light cover after plugging it in. Solid orange indicates the camera is still powering on, flashing orange indicates firmware updates, and flashing blue means the camera is recording but can't connect to the server. If this persists for over five minutes, ensure the camera is getting a local IP address from the DHCP server with MAC addresses on the camera's bottom. If network configuration support is needed, contact Verkata support. What you should see is solid blue, which means the camera is recording and connected to the server. To add your device to your Verkata command account, use either the command portal or the mobile app. Note that adding a new camera requires the role of organization admin or site admin for the site where you're adding the camera. On a desktop or laptop, log into your command account and navigate to all products on the left-hand menu, then select devices. From there, add devices will be located in the top right. Next, choose a site to put the device in and set the location. It is very important to enter the proper location for the camera. There is no time zone setting and the camera will set its local time using the address provided in the location. Then enter the device's serial number. If you are using a computer with a camera, you can also scan the QR code on the camera or the box instead of entering the serial number. Click Activate to add the device to your org. You can also add all devices in an order to bulk import cameras. Click Add an entire order on the Add Devices page. Select the site and location for the new cameras and enter the order number. To move cameras between sites or subsites, simply click the gray checkbox in the upper left-hand corner of the camera feed. You can do this for multiple cameras at once. After selecting the cameras, choose the destination site and move them accordingly. For more information on network troubleshooting, recommended camera mounts, and how to use different features in command, please visit our knowledge base at help.verkata.com.